I've been constantly watching videos and listening to podcasts about romanticizing my life and what does it even mean? Romanticizing your life means appreciating the little things, celebrating small and big wins and overall loving your life and becoming the best version of yourself. And that is exactly what we're trying to achieve in this video. I think the idea of romanticizing your life in your daily routine can make those boring tasks something you actually enjoy. Little tasks that you can romanticize can be to make your bed, do your skincare, picking a cute outfit, it just makes the morning so much more enjoyable and I actually want to get out of bed. Good morning, so I'm gonna make some for breakfast. I spilled like half my water down my trousers. So I'm gonna be making some kind of like parfait fruit bowl. So I have fruit yogurt, I have strawberries and granola and my special bowl. I love iced water in the morning, it's so nice. I listened to the Fernanda Ramirez podcast and she said that the little things can really change your perspective so that's why I wanted to make an aesthetically pleasing breakfast. My favourite thing ever is listening to music, especially in the morning. Making a playlist with good vibes, creating a good mindset for the day can change your day as a whole. I like to listen to uplifting music in the morning as it puts me in a good mood. I find getting up earlier, leaving time to pace yourself and enjoying your morning is so much better than getting up later and rushing, so I recommend getting up that bit earlier in the morning as you'll be less stressed and more productive. I like doing TikTok get ready with me's as well because it makes me more productive and I enjoy getting ready. So I've done my makeup, I already feel more confident in myself, so now let's get ready to leave. Usually the gloomy weather really puts my mood down, but I'm just trying to think like it's a day closer to summer and soon the weather's gonna be so hot. I've romanticized boring tasks like studying and work by going to a coffee shop and ordering my favorite drink. It just makes it more enjoyable and aesthetically pleasing. Romanticizing the small things in life makes me appreciate things more instead of complaining about it. I find a way to turn it into a memorable experience. I think it is genuinely so important that you spend time with yourself, you focus on yourself and you treat yourself. That goes into the self-care category. The way I like to do this is I sometimes like to buy myself flowers or I like to look at the flower stalls. Bless them, they are so cute. I'm not a professional like florist or anything, so this is purely me just trying to get myself used to looking after flowers because I never used to look after flowers. One of my favorite ways of self-care is taking yourself on a date, in particular, a shopping date. Don't get me wrong, it can be so scary doing things by yourself, but I like to embrace it and there are so many advantages. Like, I love shopping by myself. It's so relaxing and therapeutic and you can go at your own pace. I literally have no intention of buying anything, but I love window shopping. So I just keep wandering around, literally not buying anything. Another way of self-care is taking yourself out to eat, whether that's a dinner or a lunch date. What I wanted to do was to buy a cookie kit so I could bake some cookies as a form of self-care. I'm really bad at baking, so I have a cookie set just because it's easier. Okay, so the cookies are a little bit, oh, a little bit burnt. Wow, of course it's me who burns them, but I'm gonna do a taste test anyway. I mean, they're edible. I wouldn't say they're any good, but I wanted the like gooey cookies. The result of this, I'm not a very good chef. 
Most of the time I cannot be bothered to go on walks, but instead of complaining, I romanticize it and call it the hot girl walk. This makes me more motivated to go on walks, I listen to my playlists, and I'm more appreciative of everything that's around me. Moving your body, whether that's going on a walk, yoga, gym, or even home workouts has such an impact on your routine and makes you feel so productive. It doesn't matter how you move your body, but trust me, it'll make you feel so much better about yourself. And the best thing is there are so many different ways you can do it. And you can try out new routines every day. Even though I've spoken loads about spending time with yourself, it's also important to spend time with others. Me and some of my friends all met up and we had a Mamma Mia night which was so much fun. We chilled, watched films and we made pizza. I'm back home now, it's been such a long day and I am exhausted. One of the biggest steps of my evening routine is making my space tidy and organized, making sure it reflects me as a person. I like to take time out of my day to make sure everything is put away and organized as I really struggle with keeping a tidy room. Your room does not have to be perfect at all, mine really isn't, but I say a tidy room is a tidy mind. I'm absolutely obsessed with these pajamas. They just make me feel more excited about going to sleep. I'm definitely more cozy. I'm so obsessed with having a relaxing evening routine where I can unwind and do my skincare, get into pajamas and light my candles. So I've just taken off my makeup. As you can see, I've kind of broken out a little bit and so I'm gonna do a face mask. I think face masks are so like therapeutic. They're just relaxing, calming. Just the best way to basically unwind for the night. I usually don't use my band, but I've lost all my clips. I'm just using this argan oil clay mask oh another thing i've lost the brush that you put face mask on so i have to use my fingers i've kind of put on a bit thick haven't i oh, i put on my lip oh no oh, it looks like i've painted myself what's worse this one or this one from my last video i should have picked a cute one <laughs> this is not romanticizing I've got to wait like 15 minutes until I can take this off, but I can't lie, it's gonna come off pretty soon. I hate it. I'm just I am beyond traumatized from that face mask. It felt like I had plastered my skin, like it's all like rashed up. But it's okay because now I know never to do that ever again. Romanticizing is all about having a good mindset, thinking positively about things, and you know what? It was an experience experience that I'm never gonna do again. I'm just gonna do my skincare now and if you guys watch my channel then you would know exactly what my skincare is. So I'm settling for bed now and I'm gonna read my book. I also have my berry tea. The reason I have tea before bed is because I listened to the Fernanda Romero's podcast. If you watched my last video you know that I've been drinking tea before I go to bed because it just adds that more exciting element just to settle down. Like I don't know what it is but like trust me when you try it you just Feel so much better about yourself. I had this reading light as well, which lights up. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos. So now I can read with the lights off and still see what I'm reading, and I think that's really cool. I also have two satsumas. Okay, I'm just eating my orange right now, but um, they're so good. Satsumas are actually my favorite things ever. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions or ideas, I absolutely love posting so, so much. You have no idea. And I'm going to try and continue posting twice a week. So please subscribe. I love you. And if you made it this far, leave a comment as well.